Sly Favon, right? Nobody. Yeah. They say you can't say that no more. Why? Oh, yeah, because of... Wait, no, wait, no, no. Like, they who died? Say you can't say that no more. Oh, because of FBG Cash? Or who? Nah, because Lil Pop. In the rap world, beef and rivalries are not uncommon, but sometimes these conflicts can escalate to dangerous levels, resulting in tragic consequences. Today, we delve into the shocking events that unfolded in the wake of the tragic death of King Von. Lil Durk, NBA Youngboy, and Quando Rondo find themselves at the center of a deadly feud that has left a trail of violence and destruction. Let's explore Lil Durk catches Quando Rondo slipping, sliding for King Von. Quando Rondo's beef with King Von. In the world of hip-hop, feuds and rivalries are not uncommon. They often stem from personal conflicts, territorial disputes, or even a clash of egos. The beef between Lil Durk and Quando Rondo was no exception. It was a tale of two rising rap stars, each with their own unique journey and affiliation. Lil Durk, born Dirk Derrick Banks, hails from Chicago, a city known for its vibrant rap scene and notorious gang culture. Dirk emerged as a prominent figure in the drill music movement, a subgenre of hip-hop characterized by its gritty lyrics and aggressive beats. Dirk's raw talent and authentic storytelling quickly gained him a loyal fan base. On the other hand, Quando Rondo, born Tyke and Terrell Bowman, represented a different side of the rap game. Hailing from Savannah, Georgia, Quando Rondo brought a southern flavor to his music. He gained recognition for his melodic style and introspective lyrics, resonating with a younger generation of rap enthusiasts. While their paths may have seemed distinct, Lil Durk and Quando Rondo's lives intersected through their associations with other established artists. Lil Durk was signed to OTF Only the Family, a record label founded by his close friend and fellow Chicago rapper, King Von. King Von, whose real name was Davon Bennett, was a rising star in his own right, known for his vivid storytelling and gritty street tales. Quando Rondo, on the other hand, found himself aligned with NBA Youngboy, a highly controversial yet immensely popular rapper from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. NBA Youngboy, born Kentrell Deshaun Galden, had a loyal following and a reputation for his raw and unfiltered lyrics. It was through these affiliations that the seeds of the beef between Lil Durk and Quando Rondo were sown. While it's Difficult to pinpoint the exact moment when tensions began to rise, it became clear that there was a growing divide between the two camps. One possible source of tension was King Von's association with young boy NBA's ex-girlfriend, Janya. King Von and Janya were seen together in pictures, sparking rumors of a romantic relationship. However, King Von maintained that they were only collaborating on music. Regardless, this stirred up drama between King Von and young boy NBA, potentially spilling over into the relationship between Lil Durk and Quando Rondo. Despite the rumors and speculation, King Von himself confirmed in a video that there was no real beef between him and Youngboy NBA. He stated, ain't no rap beef and ain't no real beef unless somebody got shot or something. King Von made it clear that he had no ill intentions towards Youngboy NBA and that any perceived beef was purely speculative. In fact, Quando Rondo had expressed his respect for Lil Durk, acknowledging his talent and the impact he had made in the industry. Quando Rondo even collaborated with Lil Durk on the track Other Side, showcasing their mutual appreciation for each other's music. Music. However, as the tensions between their respective camps continued to simmer, the beef between Lil Durk and Quando Rondo began to escalate. The exact catalyst for the beef remains unclear, but it was evident that there was a growing animosity between the two artists. Death of King Von. It was a night that would forever change the lives of those involved. On the 19th of August, 2022, the air was thick with tension as Quando Rondo, a talented rapper from Savannah, Georgia, felt the weight of the world on his shoulders. Ever since the passing of his close friend and fellow rapper King Von, every moment seemed to be filled with uncertainty and fear. The tragic shooting that took place outside a hookah lounge in Atlanta had sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community, leaving one man dead and Quando Rondo questioning his own safety. The events leading up to that fateful night were filled with a series of escalations tensions and rivalries. It all started with a rap beef between Quando Rondo and Lil Durk, two prominent figures in the industry. The origins of their feud are still unclear, but what began as a war of words soon turned into something much more dangerous. Quando Rondo, known for his raw and gritty lyrics, had been making a name for himself in the rap game, his association with King. Vaughn and his crew, OTF, only the family, had solidified his street credibility, but as his star rose, so did the animosity between him and Lil Durk, a respected rapper from Chicago. 
The tension between Quando Rondo and Lil Durk reached its boiling point on that tragic night. Quando and his entourage found themselves at the Monaco Hookah Lounge, unaware of the impending danger that awaited them. King Von, a close friend and collaborator of Lil Durk, was also present at the club. The stage was set for a confrontation that would have dire consequences. As the night unfolded, tempers flared and egos clashed. King Von and Quando Rondo crossed paths and a heated argument ensued. The details of what exactly transpired in those crucial moments are still murky, but what is known is that violence erupted. A fight broke out between King Von and Quando Rondo, with punches thrown and chaos ensuing. Amidst the chaos, shots rang out. The sound of gunfire pierced the air, sending shockwaves through the crowd. In the midst of the confusion, King Von was struck multiple times by bullets. The gravity of the situation became apparent as the severity of his injuries became clear. Panic and fear gripped the scene as people scrambled for safety. Quando Rondo and his entourage, caught in the midst of the chaos, quickly realized the severity of the situation. They fled the scene, leaving behind a trail of confusion and devastation. The aftermath of the shooting was captured on camera, with footage showing the chaotic scene that unfolded outside the hookah lounge. As the dust settled, the reality of the situation sank in. King Von, a rising star with a promising future, had tragically lost his life. The news of his death sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community, leaving fans and fellow artists in disbelief. The loss was felt deeply, and the void left by his absence would be difficult to fill. The investigation into the shooting began immediately, with law enforcement agencies working tirelessly to uncover the truth. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation, GBI, took charge of the case, as the circumstances surrounding the shooting raised many questions. Two officers were also involved in the incident, firing shots in the line of duty. The GBI's involvement ensured an impartial investigation into the events that unfolded that night. The rap careers of Quando Rondo and King Von Quando Rondo, whose real name is Tiquion Terrell Bowman, was born on March 23, 1999, in Savannah, Georgia. Growing up, he showed a keen interest in music and began pursuing it full-time after being released from jail in 2017. He gained attention with the release of his song, I Remember, featuring Lil Baby in January 2018, which led to the success of his mixtapes Life Before Fame, Life After Fame, and From the Neighborhood to the Stage. His unique stage name is a play on his nickname, Quando, and his admiration for basketball player Rajan Rondo. King Von, on the other hand, had a tragically short-lived career. Born Davon Daquan Bennett on August 9, 1994 in Chicago, Illinois, he rose to prominence with his gritty storytelling and raw lyrics. He was a member of the O'Block Gang and had a troubled past, spending time in jail before pursuing music. King Von's breakout moment came with the release of his song Crazy Story in 2018, which became a viral hit. He followed it up with a series of successful mixtapes, including LaVon James and Welcome to O'Block. The paths of Quando Rondo and King Von crossed in a tragic turn of events. On November 6, 2020, an altercation broke out between their crews outside an Atlanta nightclub, resulting in a shootout that claimed the life of King Von. The incident sparked controversy and speculation, with both sides claiming self-defense. Quando Rondo remained silent on the matter until he released a song called End of Story, addressing the shooting and his involvement. Despite the criticism, he continued to support his friend Timothy Leakes, also known as Lul Tim, who was charged with the murder of King Von Quando Rondo's career has been marred by legal issues and controversies. In 2019, he faced a lawsuit filed by a man claiming to be his bodyguard, tour manager, and or tour DJ, alleging assault, battery, and emotional distress. The lawsuit stemmed from an incident during a concert in South Carolina, where the claimant alleged that Quando Rondo and NBA Youngboy assaulted him. In 2022, Quando Rondo was involved in a shooting in Los Angeles, resulting in the death of his friend, Lil Pab. He was later arrested on drug charges and indicted for his alleged involvement in gang activity. Despite the controversies, both Quando Rondo and King Von have left a lasting impact on the rap industry. Their unique styles and captivating storytelling have resonated with fans around the world. While King Von's career was tragically cut short, his legacy lives on through his music. As for Quando Rondo, he continues to face challenges but remains determined to overcome come them and make a name for himself in the industry. And there you have it, the shocking and tragic story of Quando Rondo and King Von's rap careers. These two artists have faced their fair share of obstacles and controversies, but their talent and passion for music have propelled them forward, well until one of them got shot. Diss track on King Von. After King Von's death, 
Quando Rondo made a controversial move by releasing a diss track about Vaughn's death. The lyrics of the track were seen as disrespectful and unrepentant, painting Rondo and his crew as heroes and claiming self-defense. This did not sit well with the rap community, and fans of King Vaughn came out in support of the fallen rapper, expressing their anger towards Rondo. This track, released by Quando Rondo himself, was a direct response to the tragic incident that took place between him and King Vaughn. The diss track not only stirred up controversy, but also shed light on the deep-rooted animosity between the two rappers. The song's title itself, End of Story, was a bold statement that Quando Rondo believed he had put an end to King Von's story. The lyrics of the track were filled with provocative lines that seemed to taunt and mock King Von's death. Quando Rondo didn't hold back as he rapped about blood on his brother on the ground and urged King Von's camp to pick their man up. The diss track didn't just stop at mocking King Von's death. The lyrics of the track portrayed Quando Rondo and his crew as heroes defending themselves, despite evidence suggesting otherwise. This move further fueled the anger and resentment towards Quando Rondo, as fans and the rap community saw it as a lack of remorse and disrespect for the fallen rapper. It also hinted at the ongoing threats and danger that Quando Rondo faced in his daily life. He rapped about having a million dollar bounty on his head, suggesting that his enemies were out to get him. The lyrics painted a picture of a rapper constantly on guard, always armed and ready to defend himself. The aftermath of the diss track was nothing short of chaotic. Quando Rondo's shows were canceled and promoters were hesitant to book him due to the security risks involved. The tension between Quando Rondo and his adversaries reached a boiling point, with rumors circulating that Lil Durk, a close associate of King Von, had orchestrated the hit on Quando Rondo. However, it's important to note that these rumors remain unconfirmed, and the truth behind the events leading up to King Von's death and the subsequent diss track is still shrouded in mystery. The rap community was divided, with some believing that Quando Rondo was justified in defending himself, while others condemned him for his provocative lyrics. Despite the controversy surrounding the diss track, Quando Rondo continued to face threats and danger in his life. He survived another shooting incident, further solidifying his status as a walking target. The rapper's public antics on social media only added fuel to the fire, with Quando Rondo seemingly unapologetic and unremorseful for his actions. The feud between Quando Rondo and Lil Durk, as well as the tragic events that unfolded, serve as a stark reminder of the dangers that come with the rap industry. It's a story that highlights the consequences of one's actions and the ripple effects that can result from a single diss track. The Rap Community's Reaction While the rap community may have its flaws, one thing they value above all else is loyalty. Whether it's loyalty to those who helped them rise through the ranks or loyalty to their crew and entourage, they stand united when one of their own is threatened or hurt. And in the case of King Von's tragic death, they were determined to seek justice. Quando Rondo found himself facing heat from multiple sides of the rap community. Many people admired King Von and were deeply affected by his passing. They wanted someone to blame for the loss of such a promising talent. And Quando Rondo willingly stepped into that role. Rappers especially Lil Durk, publicly expressed their intention to come after Rondo. They made it clear that they would not let him get away with what happened to King Von. Some even went as far as causing incidents to ensure Rondo knew what was coming for him. The rap community's loyalty and determination to seek justice for King Von cannot be underestimated. They are not willing to let Rondo's actions go unpunished. The loss of King Von was felt deeply, and they are determined to hold Rondo accountable for his role in the tragedy. The tension surrounding Quando Rondo reached a boiling point when he was forced to cancel a highly anticipated concert. On the day of the show, Rondo took to Instagram Live, appearing to leave the venue after receiving a call that the concert had been canceled. He was seen wearing what appeared to be a bulletproof vest, expressing his concerns about the situation. According to Rondo, there were rumors and word on the street that Lil Durk and other Chicago groups were planning to attend the concert and seek revenge for the death of King Von. In theory, this would be a valid reason to cancel the show, considering the potential danger involved. However, some commentators noticed something peculiar. They pointed out that the alleged security footage Rondo shared was dated January 1st, 2018, questioning how his show could be canceled at the club if the video was from an event that took place over two years ago. This raised doubts about the validity of Rondo's claims and the true reasons behind the concert cancellation. Neither the mayor nor the police in Macon, where the concert was supposed to take place, publicly commented on the reason behind Rondo's show cancellation. This lack of official confirmation leaves room for speculation. Understanding the potential dangers, Quando Rondo made a response decision to forego public shows. His uncle came forward stating that Rondo can no longer perform in public due to the threats and risks to his life. This decision, while necessary for his safety, highlights the gravity of the situation and the genuine concerns surrounding his well-being. But was Rondo genuinely concerned about his safety, or did he use the threats as an excuse to avoid potential exposure and backlash? The truth behind the threats and the cancelled concert remains unclear. It is possible that Rondo genuinely feared for his life, 
considering the intense animosity directed towards him. On the other hand, some skeptics believe that Rondo may have used the situation to escape the potential consequences of his actions. Lil Durk and Quando on November 6, 2020, tragedy struck the rap industry when rising star King Von, a member of Lil Durk's Only the Family crew, was fatally shot by Quando Rondo's crew outside a club in Atlanta. This incident marked the beginning of a fierce rivalry between Lil Durk and Quando Rondo that has been brewing for two long years. Lil Durk, devastated by the loss of his friend, vowed to seek justice for King Von. The tension between Lil Durk and Quando Rondo escalated when Rondo unexpectedly reached out to Durk on Instagram, attempting to make peace. However, their private conversation quickly went public, exposing the deep-rooted animosity between the two rappers. Lil Durk made it clear that he was not willing to make things easier for Quando Rondo. This confrontation between Lil Durk and Quando Rondo has unleashed a storm of diss tracks, music videos, interviews, and even hit attempts. Both rappers have been using their music as a platform to attack each other, with no holds barred. The intensity of their feud has shocked the rap world and captivated fans. In June 2021, Lil Durk found himself in the spotlight again when a snippet from his collaboration collaboration album with Lil Baby, the voice of the heroes, went viral. In the track, Lil Durk made a reference to an interview Quando Rondo had done with Angela Yee, implying that Rondo should be cautious because danger could be lurking. This sparked controversy and divided fans, with some interpreting it as a direct diss towards Quando Rondo. Quando Rondo, on the other hand, has not held back in his attacks against Lil Durk. In one of his music videos, he featured a look-alike of Lil Durk, symbolically taking him down. He also took shots at Lil Durk's deceased brother and mother, crossing a line that many consider disrespectful and tasteless. The beef between Lil Durk and Quando Rondo has not been limited to music. They have taken their feud to social media platforms, engaging in heated exchanges and taunting each other. Quando Rondo even joined a clubhouse chat filled with members of Lil Durk's crew, causing tension and further fueling the fire. Despite the intense animosity between them, Quando Rondo has claimed that he has no beef with Lil Durk. In an interview, he expressed admiration for Durk and even referred to him as a legend. He praised Durk's impact on the rap industry and his willingness to help younger artists. However, the tragic incident with King Von has irreparably damaged their relationship. An alleged Instagram chat between Lil Durk and Quando Rondo quickly made headlines, but Quando Rondo denied its existence, claiming that the chats never took place. He took to his Instagram story to express his disbelief in the internet and to assert that he doesn't have a Facebook or Snapchat account. However, the denial did little to quell the tension between the two rappers. The Lil Durk and Quando Rondo beef continued to captivate the rap world, with fans eagerly awaiting each new diss track or social media exchange. Attempt on Quando's life, slidden for Vaughn. For Quando Rondo, life became a constant state of paranoia and fear. Every second, every minute, he was haunted by the thought of someone coming for him, seeking revenge for King Von's death. The incident on August 19th, 2022, seemed to confirm his worst fears. Quando Rondo and his entourage were at a mobile gas station in Beverly Grove, Los Angeles, when they were ambushed by three men in a white sedan. The assailants opened fire on Quando's black Cadillac, catching them off guard. Miraculously, Quando and his crew managed to escape, but one of his closest friends, El Poab, tragically lost his life. The aftermath of the shooting left Quando devastated. He mourned the loss of his dear friend and paid tribute to him through music and social media posts. However, instead of receiving condolences, Quando was bombarded with comments mocking him for the death of King Von. Rumors started circulating that Lil Durk may have been behind the hit on El Poab, adding another layer of complexity to the already tangled web of feuds and rivalries. The speculation surrounding Lil Durk's involvement in El Poab's death stemmed from his lyrics on the remix of the song Who Wants Smoke. In the song, Dirk referenced people trolling him by saying slide for Vaughn, suggesting that he had already avenged King Vaughn's death. Additionally, a video posted by DJ Academics at the same gas station where El Poab was killed further fueled the rumors. The video featured Lil Dirk's song playing in the background, leading some to believe that it was a deliberate message. However, it is important to note that there are conflicting reports and theories about the incident. Some believe that the shooting was not related to the ongoing feud between Quando Rondo and Lil Dirk, but rather a result of Quando's failure to check in with local gang members and disrespect their territory. Brick Baby, a member of the Crips and OTF, suggested that Quando's actions in California had consequences. The situation became even more complicated when it was revealed that there was a time when Lil Durk, Quando Rondo, King Von, and NBA Youngboy were all on good terms. They collaborated on songs, hung out together, and even wore matching outfits. However, something changed, and the once friendly relationship turned into a bitter feud. The beef between OTF and NBA escalated, with diss tracks and subliminal messages being 
being exchanged. The disrespect reached a new level when King Von started dating NBA young boy's baby mama, Jazz. This act of betrayal ignited a firestorm of animosity between the two camps. The tension continued to escalate with Quando Rondo and Lila. Dirk becoming prime targets for their rivals. The feud took a tragic turn on November 6, 2020, when King Von was killed in Atlanta. The incident occurred after a fight broke out between King Von and Quando Rondo in the parking lot of the Monaco Hookah Lounge. King Von threw the first punch, and Lil Tim, a friend of Quando Rondo, fired the fatal shots. King Von's death sent shockwaves through the rap community and intensified the feud between OTF and NBA. The beef continues. The aftermath of the shooting that targeted Quando Rondo and his entourage was nothing short of chaotic. The incident had left one of his closest friends, El Poab, dead, and Quando himself shaken to the core. But instead of finding solace and support in the wake of such a tragedy, Quando faced a barrage of mockery and taunts on social media. Every time he shared a post about his fallen friend, the comments section would be flooded with fans claiming to have avenged King Von's death or insinuating that Lil Durk, a prominent rapper and rumored rival, had finally gotten revenge for his fallen comrade. The loss of El Poab had become a source of ridicule rather than sympathy. In June 2021, Lil Durk found himself in the midst of another controversy when a snippet from his collaboration album with Lil Baby, The Voice of the Heroes, went viral. In the track, Lil Durk made a reference to an interview Quandos Rondo had done with Angela Yee, implying that Quandos Rondo should be cautious because danger could be lurking. This sparked speculation among fans, as Quandos Rondo was in a Rolls Royce during the interview, not a Rose. Lil Durk faced backlash for seeing seemingly taking shots at Quando Rondo, but he defended himself by stating that he wasn't targeting anyone specific in his lyrics. He made it clear that he never mentioned any names and urged people to stop spreading false information. The feud between Lil Durk and Quando Rondo didn't stop there. Quando Rondo released diss tracks of his own, calling out Lil Durk and his crew. In one of his music videos, Quando Rondo even featured a Lil Durk lookalike further fueling the tension between the two rappers. Quando Rondo denied any intention of dissing Lil Durk, claiming that fans were making things up. However, Quando Rondo took things to a new low when he dissed Lil Durk's deceased brother and mother in his tracks. He even claimed responsibility for the hit on Lil Durk's brother, D Thang, who was tragically killed outside a club in Chicago. The lyrics in Quando Rondo's song suggested that Lil Durk's music, which often included disses towards his rivals, played a role in the violence. Lil Durk never directly addressed the diss tracks or Quando Rondo's claims. Quando Rondo continued his attacks on Lil Durk's crew, specifically targeting members of Only the Family on social media platforms. He even joined a clubhouse chat where members of the OTF crew were present, taunting them and making jokes. Some members of the chat defended Quando Rondo, while others called him out for potentially attracting unwanted attention from law enforcement. Despite the ongoing feud, Quando Rondo insisted that he had no beef with Lil Durk. In an interview, he expressed his admiration for Lil Durk, calling him a living legend and praising his impact on the rap industry. Quando Rondo claimed that he had a good relationship with Lil Durk and never thought they had any issues. However, the tragic events surrounding King Von's death strained their relationship beyond repair. As the one-year anniversary of King Von's death approached, Quando Rondo seemed to resume the trolling, reigniting the flames of the beef. The wounds were still fresh, and the pain of the loss lingered. The rap community watched with bated breath as the tension between Quando Rondo, Lil Durk, and their respective camps continued to escalate. The fallout from the shooting had far-reaching consequences for Quando Rondo. His once-thriving career had been derailed, and he became a target both on and off social media. The men in ski masks were always a looming threat, ready to strike at any of his shows. The fear and uncertainty that Quando Rondo now faced were constant reminders of the dangerous world he had become entangled in. If you like videos like these, be sure to check out the one showing on your screen right now.